What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today Vulcanoids just got a big ass update. So we're gonna do a big ass episode full of big ass things. It's the world of indie games. It's unfolding right now in front of you. Like a lavish, luxurious carpet. And you can either choose to walk it or walk away. Don't walk away though, that's that's a mistake. Don't do that. Let's start a new game. We'll play on normal. Trinos used to be a wondrous place. A rich and prosperous island. Home to a busy trading port. But that was not meant to last. It began when strange formations like giant soil tracks started to appear across the island. No one was able to explain how they were made. Soon after the formations appeared, earthquakes followed. Weak at first, they grew more frequent and more violent. A few days later, three volcanoes erupted in the island lagoon, hurling stones, sinking ships, crushing buildings. Captains feared for the safety of their vessels. All trade stopped. People left Adranos aboard fleeing ships. The brave few who had remained soon regretted their decision. An enormous volcano that lay dormant for centuries erupted, flooding the island with a pyroclastic wave, covering it with lava and hurling stones miles away. Those who had made it to the ships were evacuated myself among them. What we left behind was an apocalyptic landscape of fire and dust. Periodic eruptions turned our beautiful home into a hellish nightmare, disrupting both naval and aerial traffic for years. Despite their best efforts, not even the best imperial geologists were able to explain the volcano's sudden appearance. Several years later, Exiles from Adranos secured funding for an expedition to return to the island and discover what happened. It was my honor to serve as the captain of the Archimedes submarine. As we surfaced a safe distance from Adranos' shore, we knew that this expedition to reclaim our homeland had only just begun. We've only just begun. I can't hear that song anymore without thinking about 1408. Like, you ever have a song that's just like, it becomes a part of a movie so much that any time that you hear it, it's so iconic that, I don't know, I felt like nobody saw 1408, but I really, really liked that movie. I thought it was a good film. I, I felt like it was one of those horror movies that just didn't get any traction. Like, maybe it came at the wrong time. I don't know. That movie released kind of around the time that movies like Saw and Hostel were super popular, and people were into, like, the whole gore porn thing. Not for me. Not for me. I prefer, like, normal horror. All right, so here we are inside of our submarine. And we got to do some stuff. Let's go talk to the captain. Hello, captain. I see you over here T-posing. What's going on? Good day, sailor. Before we can continue with the expedition, we need to construct a device. Follow the given objectives. All right, man. Sounds good. So we got to leave the submarine, and then we got to mine some ore. Let's go do it. I'm down. So here is the world of Adranos. It doesn't look that hostile. Like, when you look around, it doesn't seem that terrifying, does it? Seems like an okay place. I feel like they kind of overuse copper in their construction methods. Like, copper has this issue called oxidation. And I don't know if I would use it that much for exposed, like, fixtures, but hey. They're doing what they can do. We got some scrap metal over here. Do I want scrap metal? I guess I'll take it. There we go. Boom! The sound of metal hitting metal. It wants me to mine some copper. All right, well, there's some copper over here. Let's go ahead and shuffle that on into our bag and see if we can get anything good here. That's it, huh? Go to an ore deposit and hold down. All right, we'll get some coal, too. Are we sure that I don't need more? We can use the submarine system for production. I mean, we could. Oh, you start with a pistol now. The last time I played the game, you started out with, like, this big old long rifle. Like this. I guess it was a shotgun, if I remember correctly. You started out with this big old double barrel shotgun. It makes the same sound that the shotgun used to make, though. Like, the shotgun had that sound effect. I remember it. I don't, like, see anything else around. So maybe we should just follow this thing. Let me go ahead and grab that real fast, though, while we're over here. Let's be effective, alright? We gotta be efficient in the way that we scour the surface for things that we need. Let's head back to the submarine. It wants me to make a drill ship core. It's easy enough. I don't think that's going to be much of a challenge. We should be able to knock that out without too many issues. Down inside the submarine. It's big and copper and it's mean. 
All right, so we'll unequip that. We got to place the copper ore into our storage. So if I remember right, like everything goes into storage because you can just like craft out of there. And then we can go to storage tier one. We can click the light bulb to turn that on. So there we go. It's officially online. Dunsies. And then we've got the coal power plant. Where is that hiding on this ship? It's over... Meh? Nope, it's up above us. Oh, it's on the ceiling right there. Okay. So we'll turn that on. The power plant is now on, which means we're officially producing. And then it wants us to go to the refinery over here. We'll turn that on. And then I think we go to the refinery station after that. And then we're just going to, like, chill right here and make some copper ingots. Yeah, just make, like, as many as you can make. Items missing. I guess so. Inside of our storage, we can go ahead and put that in right there. Good, 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 good. Oh, that's my inventory. My bad. All right. And so we got to go to production tier one, which is over here. We'll click that right there. And then with the production station, it probably wants me to make... Do I need to turn this on? It wants me to make a upgrade tab and then do the drill core. Perfect. This is going to be the baseline thing that we need in order to make our drill ship. So this is like the central engine compartment. Now we can go to our storage and we can take that out of there. Good. Now we'll put it to good use. Let's go talk to this guy again. We've reclaimed a destroyer. We've received a distress call of heavily damaged drill ship that will soon surface to our location. Use this to your advantage and claim it. Dude, am I a drill ship pirate right now? I think I might be. I think they just contracted me to go out and steal a part of a drill ship. Let's go do it. I'm, I'm down. There's a slight delay in between clicking, so I was off beat right there, but you guys are just gonna have to live with me, okay? You guys are just gonna have to live with it. I can't perfectly reproduce sounds from gunshots. It's not something that I'm good at. Ow, dude! Stop shooting me! I know I shot you first, but like... I'm not down with what's happening right now. I just feel like you need to know that. Like, bad things are happening. I'm going to take your stuff, though. I'm gonna. You're going to get jacked right now. I hate to tell you. This was a hard run-up. And we've also got a shredder, a rare component used for refinery devices. Okay, we'll throw a few more bullets into the chamber over here. Or, I guess, into the wheel. And so, I'm supposed to be stealing this, I suppose. I'm just going to go straight through the wall because I'm a gangster like that. The core slot is a rounded object on the wall. Look at the slot and we can install it. All right. Uh, work table, core slots. That already has a core. Oh, I see it right there. It's that thing. Okay. It took me a minute to find it. So we got to connect to the captain through the drill ship radio. The drill ship is damaged. It must have been hit by an eruption. So we got to fix it. All right. I can do that. That doesn't sound too hard. And so we need to make some breach replacements in the production menu. So we got to make some copper tubing. I don't know if I have the stuff required in order to do that. But we've already jacked the ship. So it's officially ours. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Let's have a look around. Is there like a map that I can use to find some copper? Yeah, it looks like there's copper right over here. I see it. It's sitting on the hillside right there. There's something else over there, too. Hopefully, it's nothing threatening. So far, everything that we found has tried to shoot at me, including the trees. Oh, it's just a house. Okay, I can live with that. I'm fine with that. A little bit more copper right there. Why do I hear the sound of, like, a diesel engine kicking on? I definitely heard a diesel engine be like, vroom, and, like, take off. I mean, there's some more bad guys over there. I mean, I don't know that they're bad guys, but they shot at me. And if that don't make you bad, I assume nothing does. Like, if you go around shooting at people, you're probably a bad guy. I'm gonna do some mild sniping out here with my revolver. What you guys got going on? You got some more bullets. I will absolutely take that. Bullets sound great. You've got a converter, which is a rare component. I'll take that too. We seem to have been hitting the lottery lately on these rare components, and I'm down for it. The more rare components, the better. No copper right there. I would like to find myself... I don't think that worked. I think we are 
cursed with limited range right now. Oh, we killed him. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. We sniped him out from super far away. Anybody else over here got a problem? Huh? You ready to draw? Got him. Oh, we got some copper bolts. Nice. I got a feeling we might actually need that. I'm pretty sure you can take the copper, like the scrap or whatever, and you can turn it back into ingots too. I don't know that for certain, but I'm pretty sure you can. I got to go back to the drill ship in just a minute, but let's go get our loot because I'm not down with I'm hoping at some point too. Like, I've been playing this game for a while. I'm hoping at some point they allow you to go inside the buildings and, like, hang out inside of there and, like, do your thing. Uh, let's maybe... What do you have? You've got a builder head? All right, cool. Doesn't look like I can do anything else with the body. Bad guys, you around here? Nope. Apparently, they're just tooling around doing what they do. We got sulfur over there. We've got the hunter's house. I think I'll probably go back to the drill ship. I don't know if we have enough coal to get all this stuff done. I was hoping we would find a coal vein over here, but unfortunately, it has not been forthcoming. Doop, 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 I'm probably actually... Oh, we got five breach replacements right there, dude. Okay. I don't have a lot of inventory slots, but... Here, hold my stuff. It's okay. Yeah, just, like, take all of that. I absolutely need the med kit, so I'll take that, like, in a heartbeat. Uh, we've got... Let's see here. We've got to make some copper tubes. All right. Let's see here. Production station. Oh, my... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. It was my bad. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Oh, I don't want to deconstruct it either. I just wanted to put it back. All right, so we need to make some copper tubes. And then we need to make a door module. All right, well, there's our door module right there. Okay. So we need to... We've got the breach replacements. We need to go to the storage module now. And we need to grab the door replacement as well. And then I think... With the breach right there, that looks good. That looks good. There's a breach ceiling. Where's the breach ceiling? Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a little scuffed over here. There we go. So we've replaced all that. We've got to use the door module. I'm going to put the door module, like, right there. Congratulations, you're done with the tutorial. All right, I learned how to do things. Uh, let's talk to the captain and see what else he's got for us. So we need to build a power plant module. We can do our first travel. We can repair damaged storage modules. Produce and repair a tool to fix it. All right. Where is that at? Do I have the repair module? I don't think I do. So in our production station, like, how hard is it for us to make a... Repair module. A module repair kit. It requires copper tubes. Okay. Let's just make a couple of those. And then we've got this guy right here. And now that we're looking at it... That's not inside my inventory, is it? Yeah, I was going to say. Nice. Okay, so that's fixed up. Perfect. Sweet. Looks like new now. Absolutely. Uh, we're gonna have to dive pretty soon. These earthquakes are coming. Uh, we're gonna have to get like we're gonna have to be below the surface of the Earth by the time that volcanic eruption comes through. Let's see here. Gather enough coal to fuel the drill ship systems, or the drill ship systems, not the drill ship, the drill ship. All right. So you need to make sure there are no power shortages. Build an extra power plant. Okay. I can do that. We've got a component over here. Let's go with a module. Where's our power plant at? There it is. And we actually already have all the stuff required for that. So, like, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. So, we go to the storage module. We got to pull that out. Good. We can just put that right there. It should be enough for now. Once you expand production. Okay. Like, inside of our storage, like, I don't think I have any coal, though. 
Oh no, never mind. We got a little bit right there. I can live with that. I'm gonna use a med kit real fast. Yeah, heal my boo boos. Like, rub that on my face. Like, I don't know why it necessitates. Like, this is a very resource intensive society if we're storing, like, our bandages inside of steel canisters. Go underground. Alright. Down we go. We'll see how this plays for right now. We've got, like, our master shredder type Rocksteady and Bebop ship. We'll go ahead and dive beneath the surface of the earth, and hopefully it's safe enough for us to be there. We've already hijacked. We've already done Grand Theft uh, Drill Ship today. GTD, I guess. It doesn't roll off the tongue quite as well as GTA does, but we got to brand this thing how we can. And do we have a periscope? Where's my periscope at? I want to look through the periscope. All I can really see is ash right now. It's a little nasty out there. Oh, dude, it knocks all the leaves off the trees. That's a little wild. That's a cool little detail. I like it. So we got like 25 minutes till our next eruption. Let's go ahead and jump off of there. Let's see if we can do our first travel. So here's our drill ship right here. We've got tunnels one, tunnels two, tunnels three. So we can go back up to the surface right there, but it doesn't look like we can transition to a different zone just yet. Let's learn how to do that because that's the new system that they've added. They've added a new travel system to the game. And so we'll get our first, there we go. We'll get our first travel right here. And so we can go to the surface or we can go to tunnels two. Travel to location, safe grounds. Okay, so we got to click on the underground map to travel. Are you sure? Oh, it's like that right there. I see how it works. Okay. There's coal over here? Yeah, let's go look at the coal, dude. I like coal. We'll go gather that up. So they did. They added like a new system where you've actually got to like manually travel in between locations. Let's get the copper ore real fast. I'm going to grab this coal while I'm in the neighborhood, too. I don't want to hit any of the lava, though. I don't know what effect that's going to have on our ship. Probably nothing good. Five copper right there. A little bit of extra sulfur. Yeah, let's go to safe grounds here. We're going up to the surface. We're going up to surface. Does it stay doing it if I do this right here? Oh, yeah, we're dipping upwards right now. Damn. Oh, I can't do that when the drill ship's moving. Gotcha. Well, there's our ship. Coming up from the black, ready to go. The salty deeps. I got no copper ingots. I got any more storage slots around here? Like, let me see what's going on with my storage at the moment. So we got some copper piping right there. We got a few extra pieces, bits laying around. I'd like to make some bullets, actually. Are bullets consumables? They're under ammo. Gotcha. So for revolver ammo, we're going to need copper bolts and some coal. All right. We'll just make some more of it. Did it auto go inside my inventory or do I got to grab it from here? There we go. Now I'm all nice and strapped up in case things get rowdy. Uh, it's looking nasty out here. It's definitely not the fair weather I was hoping for. He's down, so we don't need to worry about him. That guy's down there. May have to score a hit on that side. Down he goes. All right, so we've got something over there. I don't know what that is. Maybe some kind of foundry or forge, maybe? It's got the look of, like, a smelter. Got some scrap metal right there. Oh, we found coal, though. That's good. That's one of those things we've been needing. Go ahead and grab that real fast before we head back to the ship. There's so many little icons like rattling around on my screen right now. I want to investigate all of them, but another couple little parts right there. We got the blicky all nice and reloaded, man. I got to make sure that my 38 special out here runs hot. Got to make sure this thing's ready to go. Some scrap metal on that side. I'll probably just leave it for right now. Is that coal right there? That looks like coal. Are you coal? Hey, you, come here. Little black stone. I need you to like hang out with me for right now. Ah, 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 yes, it's true. Little brown rock, how I love you. Are you anything good? Yeah, coal. That's that good stuff. Mm hmm. Let me get it. Let me get it, though. I'm going to jump my way up this mountain right here because I'm a cheese lord like that. A big old massive Swiss cheese lord. Kind of holier than thou if you wanted to keep the pun going, I guess. If you really want to keep pushing the pun. That's how I personally would push it. But, you know, you use your best discretion. I don't judge. 
Damn, dude, they weren't kidding about all this coal out here. Yeah, this whole volcanic winter action. I actually was in Hawaii when the volcano was erupting. And it was pretty crazy, like, sitting at the base of a volcano like this, just watching all the lava everywhere. Just like, damn, dude. Made you feel very, very small. It did not make you feel like a large being. You're like, man, the forces of nature are crazy. And the weird thing is, is from this distance, you could feel the heat coming off the mountain. It felt like you were standing next to a campfire from this far away. And if you got next to one of the areas where there was actually like an active flow, it had like it felt like it was going to burn. I've never felt heat that intense. Like, it felt like it was going to burn the beard right off your face, dude. It was so hot. I see friends over here. Let's make some friends, everybody. Yeah, friendship has lots of gunshots. A few more bullets to replace what I expended trying to get rid of these weird little automatons. I know it's pronounced automaton. God, commenter, I know. Just trying to be. I've been shot. I need an adult. I'm always down for some freebies out here. Oh, it's a drill ship. Maybe we should raid that. Wonder what we can take from it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go raid that drill ship real fast. We got more bullets, so we're going through rounds a little bit faster than I'm like comfortable with. I'll probably craft up like 300, 400 bullets later on, but like I want this. Give this to me. What is this right here? Let me take it. I love the gradual shift in weather when there's an, a volcanic eruption. I believe we are embroiled in a shootout right now. It wasn't my intent to be embroiled in a shootout, but these things happen when you hang out with Splattercat. God, there's so many of- No, it's diving! Damn it. If we had gotten in there, it would have like a storage hub that would have a whole bunch of loot inside of it. So that's why I'm a little bummed out right now. I'm not like crazy bummed out, but I'm a little bit bummed out. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. I know right now you can't tell. Oh, that clean execution right there. Stay a while, robot, then you'll see. I'm really good at looting. Oh, it came back up. Yeah, screw this guy. Let's go get him. It came back up. We're about to rob this dude. We're about to rob this dude. Hey there, bud. Let me get them goodies. Let me get them goodies. I don't think the door is just going to open for us. Breaking in. Breaking the ship. Breaking the ship. Now, now. Breaking the ship. Breaking the ship. Wee -wee. Ow, I've been shot. Oh, bad time to reload. Absolutely terrible time to reload. Of all the times to reload, that was not it. Yeah, get... Oh, there was a door on the other side. That was pointless. Well, now I just feel like an asshole. Uh, you got any storage stations around here? Where's your storage at? Let me... Yeah. Oh, no. I've been shot again. Hold on. I got a band-aid. The robots are better at climbing than I expected. I kill them all? Alright, leave them all bleeding. What do we got in here? We got a work table. We've got a refinery. Oof, I want the raw resources. That's what I really want. Window module, little work table right there. Yeah, loot them out, loot them out. What do we got in here? Some bullets and some scrap metal? Okay. This is piracy right here. This is what it looks like. You know, if you don't like wanton violence, look away. Because this right here is what we're doing. If I could rip this thing apart, that'd be great too. Yeah, let me, let's see here. I can remove it. I can right click and hold. Can I not steal any of this stuff? I wanted to steal their stuff, but I guess I can't steal module parts off of here. Damn, I was going to jack this thing for everything it was worth. I was going to take everything out of here and just leave nothing behind. No food, no diapers, no robot baby formula. We're about to get it all. You don't understand. I'm a marauder in these streets. I take what I please. 
Let's go back to the ship and see if we can get ourselves fixed up with a new mission. But that was a pretty good raid. We ended up with a lot more loot than we started out with. That's going to save us some refinery time for sure. Oh, we got enemies. They're attacking our base. We got to kill. Okay, one guy attacked our base. Maybe I was being a tiny bit melodramatic. But there was a guy attacking our base. It was technically a raid. Like, it wasn't, like, really a raid, but it was technically a raid. And technically is the best kind of right, okay? Let's throw this in here. We'll just unload all this ish. Perfect. Looking real, real good right now. No lie. We got a lot of stuff. Let's see what other missions are available. So we've got a longer drill ship. Yeah, dude, I want to have the segment upgrade. Let's do that. Hell yeah. Yeah. So we need to go to the produce a drill ship segment from our production section. So we've got modules. Drill ship. And maybe it's structural? No, it's not structural. The upgrade tab. Okay. So there's a drill ship segment right there. And we've already got all the stuff that we need in order to get that made. But this seems like a great spot for us to start doing the outro to our episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for an episode of Indie Games. If you don't know who I am and what I do, I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. This game is called Vulcanoids. I like it a lot. I've got a link for you down below where you can purchase the game for yourself if you wanted to get it. But for right now, it's time for us to stop off. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. I will see you later tomorrow probably with something fresh. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.